Hi guys, I'm Lindsay Jacobs. I'm the interior stylist at Decorium, and we're here today to talk about styling tips for small spaces. First, you want to consider your paint. You want to keep your walls generally light and airy so that the light can reflect off of the walls. In this space, we use Dove White. So that brings me to my second point, which is color. You want to make sure in a fairly neutral space like this one with the white walls and the light gray couch that you inject some color for personality and drama. For example, on the couch, we've added lots of pattern and color here. If your thing isn't a lot of pillows or textures and textiles, you can add a larger piece of furniture with a nice pop of color. Next up is clear or lucite furniture. If you can, try and incorporate this into your space, ideally more than once, as it doesn't take up a lot of space visually. For example, in this space, I used a classic waterfall table, which is functional, but also provides storage for the little ottomans underneath. Another thing to remember is the feet of your furniture, whether it's your couch or your TV unit or your table. You want the furniture off the ground to create a light and airy feel. You don't want any bulky furniture sitting on the floor, you don't want skirted furniture, it's just going to drag the room down and make it feel very heavy. To open up the room and reflect some light around your space, a great option would be to incorporate mirrored pieces of furniture such as this one, or to use floor mirrors or wall mirrors. When buying furniture, remember that it needs to be scaled in proportion to the room. For example, in this little dinette area, we didn't have room to put a large rectangular table in here, so I opted for a smaller round table, which also helps with traffic flow when you have a few people in your space at the same time. Finally, you want to take advantage of your wall space, so utilizing it from floor to ceiling, whether it's with artwork or a wall unit or a bookcase, you're creating the illusion of height because the eye is going up to the ceiling, making the space feel a lot bigger. I hope this was helpful, and just remember that style is not dictated by the size of your space.